flooded city neighborhoods are in recovery mode tonight. Water, mud, and debris are being shoveled and scraped out of the East End as the swollen river recedes at Schmidt Field, where Ridgely meets Bab Alley. Along the central riverfront, the mud movers are racing to get roads open and restore the flow of traffic. There are a hundred public service workers doing this kind of thing along a stretch of many miles. So they're spraying the mud off the sidewalks into the roadway. What will happen next is the street sweeper will come through, clean up the debris. When the city sends out a team of inspectors block by block beginning Thursday morning, California's one area crying out for attention. Mud, muck. Um, we have property down here that we're going to have to get all the sludge off of, and it's actually still underwater. People here are draining their basements. They could use some of those dumpsters the city intends to place in selected spots, such as in the East End, another area of Cincinnati with dozens of homes still in distress. We're going to need a lot of volunteers in regards to getting the stuff in people's yards move to the dumpsters. Starting Friday, the city will have room at LeBlanc Recreation Center for a one-stop flood center, if you will. Permits, resources, supplies. There's a flood of information that must now flow. If you have water and your electricity's on in your house, do not enter the house without talking to Duke and or us. 591-6000 to make sure it's safe. And by Monday, inspectors hope to have a preliminary damage assessment of 1,000 properties, urging homeowners and business owners to document their damage inside and out. Reporting live along the riverfront, John London, WWT News 5.